So, okay, I wanted 50-foot sea level rise by 2140, whatever. I needed it as soon as possible because I wanted to talk about the, the financial crash of 2008 and how we could do better next time. So on the one hand, I wanted to be as soon as possible in the future as possible. On the other hand, I wanted 50-foot sea level rise. The IPCC at this point is saying that by the end of this century, sea level rise will max out at like um, one meter. So I had a discrepancy there, and lo and behold, James Hansen et al., um, 18 co-authors, 2016 paper, while well, I was actually in the midst of writing this book, but obviously not the passage I just read to you, which comes after the paper involved, because what the, this rant does is pretty much give you the results of this Hansen paper. What Hansen and his colleagues wanted to say to the world is the IPCC, in attempting to be conservative, in attempting to say only something that they can back up, needed to give a quite small figure for potential sea level rise in the next uh, 100 years. And of course, history isn't going to stop in 100 years. But in any case, it's a conservative estimate. And indeed, you know, as far as we can tell in the last 100 years, you can measure sea level rise in millimeters. So it isn't as if anything has happened yet. I believe I, just this afternoon, reading in Discover Magazine, said that between 1850 and now, sea level has risen about a foot. So when you're talking about um, 50 feet, you needed something, and here's Hansen. The economic and social cost of losing functionality of all coastal cities is practically uncalculable. Adaptation will not work. So what he says in this paper with his 19 colleagues is actually a very strange case. It's cobbled together like a house of cards, and indeed, if you pull out any card, the total house kind of falls to the ground. And so it's rickety and it has been criticized, and Hansen, of course, now is a political figure. He's not just a scientist, the NASA scientist did all this great work. He's also the guy that laid down in front of uh, uh, tranks in order to get arrested, in order to protest coal, coal trains, I believe, was what he laid down in front of. So when he writes a paper and says, look, we've completely underestimated the rapidity of sea level rise, the suspicion of this paper was extreme, and the paper is rickety. I would be very interested to hear an analysis by a real scientist, because uh, along the way, Hansen will say, well, if, thing, if the doubling rate of sea level rise goes every 10 years, you've got a certain rate. If it's 20 years, you've got another rate. If, you, if you've got uh, every 40 years, you've got another rate. Well, anybody can say that, and it's true, but there's no evidence as to which rate we're on, because we're at the part of the graph where things are just moving horizontally. And how the jump will happen is, is uh, unknown to us right now. So he's doing an act of science fiction in nonfiction form, and that can be challenged as such. <laughs> that, in fact, there's many uh, work of science fiction in nonfiction form. It's a genre.